So we are now running 1.02 of the firmware where they say that one of the things they improved is the, uh, is the touchscreen. Um, I've been playing around with it. I find it quite difficult to um, quickly judge. So um, in the second part of the video, uh, there will be the, I will put this one up first or in the first in the, in the, the this video. This is the new version and probably around three minutes uh, you will find the old version so that you can kind of compare. So we are now in photo mode and let's drag around a little bit. We tested this before. Um, I got the feeling this is quicker. I'm pretty sure it's quicker, but um, so this test, I wouldn't say this is uh, a useless test, but it's kind of, it will always be delayed uh, compared to your finger. So let me do it like this so you can better see it, right? So the question is how quickly can you get it somewhere, right? So if I autofocus like this, put it back over here, I'm, I'm guessing the best test to do, which I didn't do, but and, and I'm not planning to do, is you, that you would do this like 20 times and see what the hit rate is and how quickly you can sort of do it, right? But my gut feeling is, playing with it now, that it is uh, better. Um, I also noticed that the EVF mode is now, um, let's say, better in, in getting your um, uh, intentions. Um, maybe this is just luck, I don't know. But uh, I, I can see that if they claim that they improve this, I can see that is probably true, right? But you can judge yourself uh, later on. But for me, this is working kind of nicely. So um, let's go to movie mode quickly. So we are now in movie mode. And uh, now, it, of course, it will auto focus on the point that I'm touching. So there it is. There it is, and it goes, and you can see that it quite quickly takes over. There it is. There it is. There it is. It didn't have any problems in finding it. I still don't understand why um, the focus point doesn't light up if you do a one touch. Well, if you drag, you can see quite clearly in orange that there is a point, which I think it makes much more sense because then you kind of know where you left uh, your point because if you notice if you go to a black area like here then now you can see where it is well if you use the touch mode so if i do it like this i kind of have to guess and make sure that it uh, found my uh it, re it removed my point and i guess that's uh, i wouldn't say part of the um, the discussions uh, that which i think uh, is uh, what they need is that they need to be we need to trust it right so if i press here then i have to make sure that the point is there now i can see the little dot because i put it on a light area but if i put it on a dark area i can hardly see it so i kind of have to wait until i see it move to make sure that it's there so i don't understand why if i move it about like this then it does uh, make it orange well if i do it like this uh, it doesn't right so but as you can see, if I if I do the drag test, I'm not convinced that it's faster. But if I do the yes, use it regularly, um, yeah, I can almost say you should judge it depending on on what it's doing and not comparing. Uh, but I don't. I think this is very usable, right? Of course, the speed and the hunting uh, depends more on the camera uh, or on the lens. We are now, uh, I put it in fast mode and it wasn't responsive. It was also there before, so there's no change there. Uh, but I just checked the settings. But as you can see, it's doing it quite well. So we are now four minutes. So if you uh, jumped into this video uh, expecting to see the old version, or already know this is still the new version, but I'm going to stop now. So it will be in four minutes 20 where we move from the new version to the old version. So this is the end of 1.02. And we are now going to the older version so that you can kind of compare. Thank you. So hello, a quick video I'm recording on my iPhone because I'm uh, even more lazy than normal. Um, Sony just released a new software version. So um, this uh, 6500 is now running. Uh, we are looking at the back of 6500. We are now running uh, 1.01 and I will um, do some touchscreen um, actions and see uh, before and after if it actually has changed so we are now in photo mode and normally what you can do is press a certain location 
you see the blocks come up and you can hit it and it will focus. It's a little bit over saturated or too oh, sort of, but that's okay, I don't care too much. Because that's what we want to test is basically, um, I think one of the things might have changed is the speed of the of the way that it can follow. So even in this dark area, you can clearly see, and let me try to do some tests, that you can see that it's probably about half um, a screen behind, right? So if I move about, you see it does not track me that well. For the rest, it kind of works. If I tap, for me at least, it's it's confirming quite easily one tap and go. So I personally don't have a problem with tapping and, and clicking. Um, of course the focusing is more the lens at the moment. So let's go to video mode and check some stuff there. So if you go to video mode, which more people will probably be interested in. So now it's in video mode and we can sort of see the delay there. It's about the same. I think sometimes it feels a little bit fast, faster in video mode and it might actually be a bit faster. And of course it's now auto focusing if I, if I, uh, I don't have to hit the, the, the back button focusing button like I did in photo mode. So if I move the dot, it will focus there. I have no idea how the settings uh, are at the moment in the camera and I don't care too much. I think another thing that we can sort of test a little bit is the tracking uh, thing right so uh, it is now you have to first do the push it once and then you can sort of move it about where it's going to track what object is going to track right so there it is and then you can move it to another location that kind of already worked you can now see that's tracking that and let's do one more let's see if we want to focus on this very close up object well let me move it a bit further like this so let's focus in on this one and it will track that well actually it didn't but you can sort of see maybe that has changed also for me this is working quite nicely already although i do think uh, th there can be improvement there maybe they change this um so let's see again the, the the delay if i move it about which i have to turn off this mode and you can sort of see on the screen yeah what happens what how much delay is there because i think if we see changes this will probably be this because they are talking about optimization and my guess they are mostly have worked on the lag there's one uh, area that we are not testing at the moment of course um, and let me just do a few more sort of pushes and see if it goes where we want to so there it is and then push on the lens behind and put on the front again um, there's one thing that we can't test, uh, so that uh, at least I'm not making this video off at the moment, is what happens uh, if you are in the uh, EVF mode and then this part of the screen will become the touch area. Um, yeah, that's about it. I guess theoretically we can also test and that uh, I will do that also uh, outside this video, the speed on the, uh, the keyboard, which is one of the other few other areas where you can do something and you can sort of get a feeling. but. I'm guessing in that area they are just using Android code and they have not optimized it. So the keyboard speed, um, my guess is, is default code. While this overlay, they may, may most likely are, are able to optimize that. So again, this is version 1.01 and I'm now going to update the camera to uh, 1.02.